Well, hello everyone, Texy88 here, and welcome to another review. And now I'm taking a look at Show Jumping for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, brought out in 1986 by Alligator Software. As far as I can make out, it didn't come out on either the Commodore 64 or the Amstrad CPC, which were the Spectrum's main competition during its heyday. So, so this does appear to be a ZX Spectrum exclusive. And as you probably guessed by the name, it's a show jumping game. Uh, and you can have up to eight players in this. So if you, if we had a family, you're just trying to do um, uh, do the courses with as few faults as possible and in a faster time than your co-conspirators. So keyboard, accelerate, break, left, right, jump. Well, let's press space for jump, retire. Oh. Now you've got either, either easy or hard skill levels, or you can change controls if you made a boo-boo and wanted to do them again, or wanted to actually select joystick. Now, even though it said left or right, it's actually uh, rotating anti-clockwise and clockwise, respectively. But uh, that, that actually works really well once you get used to it, which doesn't really take long. Uh, how many players? One, as I'm by myself. And then you get a, an overview of the entire course and where you start, which is ST at the far right. And then this course has four jumps in it, and you've got to do them in the direction of the arrow, and you've got to do them in alphabetical order, and then go through the finish. To qualify for the next course, this course has to be completed in less than 20 faults. Now, you get faults every time you fail to cleanly go over a jump, or if you or if you crash into um, an obstacle. So make make sure you got the, your position correctly and got the jump button ready, which will be the fire button if you're using a joystick. And, and it tells you in the top middle of the screen whether you need to approach, um, which direction you need to approach the jump, each jump from. Nice animated crowd there in the background. And they say you saw some the, a guy on the far right of the screen going up the stairs. Obviously, you needed a quick pee because he was getting so um, <laughs> so excited by the um, the um, arena action there. Either that or he just wanted to get a hot dog from the stand or something. I don't know. You completed the course with no faults in fifteen point six seconds and have qualified for the next course. So that was a clear round. I didn't knock down any beams or anything. Right, here's a more slightly more complicated one. So notice how once I've done A to D, which uh, going jumping towards the left, the E and F, I have to jump towards the right. Make sure you take note of that. If you try and go over a jump the wrong way, your horse will just smash into it and, ref and refuse. Refuse three times and it's game over as you get disqualified. Little bit of product placement on the advertising boards in the background there. <laughs> I really love the way the horse and rider are animated. See, even when it's uh, even when just trotting, it's beautifully animated. Oh damn it! I didn't took it. A... Oh no! Don't crash into the. Oh dear, that wasn't great. I I knocked down the beams of that last jump and got faults for that, and I got faults for crashing into the the finish flags. But at least I did it with so uh, with um uh, with under twenty faults, so I was still able to go on. Right. A cleared. Oh damn it! Now I've got to go from the opposite direction, as it says in the top middle of the screen. E is right over at the other end. Oh, look at that product placement. <laughs> Ooh, God, I thought I was going to flub that. Now for the finish, as it says in the top middle of the screen, and it, and it flashes. The crowd is going wild. Four faults. Right. Over this direction. 
That old dash. No, I got... Oh, this one's going to be hard because it's so close to the bottom of the screen. Oh! I can't have too many more faults. If I have two more uh, run, run, runs in with her. Um, with right, finish. Oh, two more fa two more knocking downs of, of any part of a jump, and th that would have been me disqualified because that would have been twenty. Oh boy, this is a bit more complicated. So after A, I've got to go right over to the far right uh, to get to B and C. Oh no. Oh god, D's right. D's right at the bottom of the screen. That's going to be awkward. Oh, did it. Oh, damn it. Four, four folks. Right, G is over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here it is. Oh, I've got to do it from that angle. Don't try not to crash into the wall. Oh, blast it. Another... The crowd went wild again. So there's another course. Ooh, I thought I was going to flub that. See, ah, oh, there it is. Ooh, darn it! Right, E. Where is E? Oh, I must be. Oh, is it? There it is. Right, got to do it from this reverse angle. Oh, darn it! Oh. God. Come to a complete halt, rotate right the way round. Oh, God, that was a... Right. Right, now it's wrapping back, so... Not a huge amount of courses, but to remember there were, there was only forty eight k kilobytes of RAM in the computer, so there was there was a limit as to how much they could actually have in it. And there's actually sound for, a, for on a forty eight k Spectrum game. It's not bad sound either. Notice how the even though the courses are repeating, I now have to do them in less than ten faults, so it does get harder. Oh, blast it! So it's very unforgiving if you if you if you don't. Oh gosh! If I if I have make one more mis. Oh no! I've blown it now. Eleven faults. Well, I've blown it anyway. So basically three mistakes and you've blown it. You've completed the course with 15 faults in 34.1 seconds and have not qualified for the next course. Game over, you successfully completed seven courses, press space to continue, so. So that's show jump jumping for the Spectrum. Not a bad uh, simulation considering the limitations of the hardware available at the time. Graphics are nice, they got managed to get some colour in the background and on the advertising boards. Uh, for obvious reasons they had to stick with the same uh, ink colour for the sprites and the jumps and everything. So everything on, actually on the, in the playing area was black. Uh, again, that would have been to avoid attribute problems. The uh, horse is superbly animated and, uh, and, it, and, it, and everything moves really smoothly. 
in some ways, it's a shame it doesn't scroll, but the, with the advertising boards alone would have caused a bit of an issue there. It would have had to have had somewhat jerky scrolling to avoid noticeable bleed. And they're nice little touches, like the like the occasional person walking up and down the stairs in the background. So that, there's some nice little attention to detail there as well. And the fact that you, the crowd is animated when the course is completed, that's also a nice touch. Sound, well, there's there's the sound when the crowd cheers, and uh, and there's also the uh, footstep sound effects. Well, horse step sound effects. So. Admittedly, it's not going to sound realistic, but then it's a 48k spectrum, which has limited sound capabilities. So, but it is not none, none of neither of the sounds you hear are unpleasant, so I'm willing to forgive it for that. It, oh yeah, and there's that slight that, that slightly different sound effect when the horse refuses or and or crashes into an obstacle. And the, and the other sound effect when the part of a, a jump is knocked off by the horse's feet or whatever. Gameplay. Well, once you once you got used to the idea of actually rotating the horse and accelerating and decelerating, which is pretty much de rigueur for the control of modern games, so it's, it's actually um, pretty pretty easy to get used to. And if if I had a, a couple of complaints, it's it, when a it jumps very close to the edge of the playing area, when there's a risk of 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 crashing into the the sides of the of the screen and waste and and wasting some precious time. That 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 can be annoying, and the and that it's pos possible for it to look like you're. And it's possible to sort of be jumping, doing the jump o over, even though the horse is clearly to one side or the other of the jump, which is a implies a little bit of cheating. But and, but uh, but uh, other than that, it's it's really hard to complain about it. All the, although the the price of the game, I've seen you know, when it first came out, uh, was. Uh, seven pounds 95 from what i can make out given that the um, the actual game itself is um is a bit limited in the number of courses possibly due to a lack of available ram it could be seen that that's not really enough to justify its full price release so the likelihood is anyone who who did buy it would have um, done what I did and and bought it when it was on budget and therefore a lot cheaper. So it wasn't such a bitter pill to swallow because seven pounds ninety five in those days would have been quite a lot for a child. So anyway, I'm I'm going to give show jumping seven out of ten. It's it's a more than competent game. It's just a, it's just it, it prob it, it's probably better done in short bursts and or with at least one other person to add a competitive aspect to it. Playing it by yourself isn't quite so much fun. But it uh, it what it does it by and large does well, and it's it's certainly a polished product considering the limitations of the hardware. So. 7 out of 10 for a show jumping for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Texie88, out.